ओके तो प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट टू मूव द ब्लॉक सिस्टम टू स्टॉप द पुल इज फ्रिक्शनलेस एंड वायर कनेक्टिंग द टू ब्लॉक इज इन एक्सटेंसिबल टू स्टॉप टेक वेट ऑफ ए ब्लॉक इट इज 50 kg एंड वेट ऑफ बी ब्लॉक इट इज 30 kg एंड कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एट ऑल स्लाइडिंग सरफेस इट इज 0.3 ओके सो ब्लॉक ए इट इज इंबेंडिंग मोशन डाउनवर्ड ओके ड्यू टू पी फोर्स एंड ब्लॉक बी इंबेंड्स अप ओके सो फ्रिक्शन फोर्स इट इज एक्टेड अपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑफ इंबेंडिंग मोशन ओके सो फॉर दैट राइट डाउन दैट राइट डाउन the embedding motion of block a due to p force is towards the down okay and embed, uh, block b embeds towards the up so therefore friction forces it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion okay so first of all consider block a consider block a right on consider sorry consider block b first it is consider consider block block b okay now draw the free body diagram of block b so first of all draw the so this surface it is inclined surface okay so this one it is block b block b so draw the horizontal axis parallel to inclined plane and perpendicular to inclined plane it is y axis okay y axis so first of all with this angle it is so inclined surface angle it is 20 degree okay so this angle it is given 20 degree 20 degree and weight of block it is 30 kg it is acted in downward direction okay so this acted it is in downward direction so convert it is 30 kg in newton means multiply by 9.81 9.81 so 30 into 9.81 30 into 9.81 so it will be 294.3 newton 294.3 newton 294.3 newton okay so this angle it is also 20 degree with the y axis 20 degree with the y axis 20 degree with the y axis okay 20 degree with the y axis okay so this b block it is rested on inclined surface here yeah. this one it is rested on inclined surface so just remove this surface and draw the normal reaction okay just draw the normal reaction here so this normal reaction it is so this one it is r and b so this normal reaction it is r and b okay r and b okay so embedding motion of b block it is towards the up okay so that's why friction force it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion so this one it is this direction friction force it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion means so this one it is 0.3 fr is equal to friction force is equal to it is coefficient of friction into normal reaction that is normal reaction it is r and b okay then next one this wire it is force it is acted here so just this wire load it is t force let's show this one it is t force okay. let's show this force it is t force okay then what is remaining self weight it is acted so this weight of block it is resolved in two direction okay so it is because of inclined force it is resolved in two direction one it is horizontal second one it is vertical second one it is vertical okay so this one it is okay the angle it is with respect to y axis so on vertical axis it is 294.3 cos 20 okay and in horizontal it is 294.3 294.3 sin 20 sin 20 okay 294.3 sin 20 To nine to four point three sine twenty. Okay, so normal reaction R and B T four. Okay, so now apply the condition of equilibrium for block B. Okay, now apply condition of equilibrium 
apply condition of equilibrium condition of condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium for block b for block b for block b okay so first of all summation fy is equal to 0 take summation of fy is equal to 0 summation of fy is equal to 0 summation of fy is equal to 0 so for that assumption if the force it is upward it will be positive the direction of force it is upward so it will be positive it will be positive the direction of force it is downward it will be negative the direction of force it is downward it will be negative it will be negative it will be negative so first of all this rmb it is going upward direction so plus rmb rmb then 294.3 cos 20 it is going downward direction so minus 294.3 cos 20 so these two force acted in vertical direction so is equal to it is zero from this relation it will get rmb value so right on rmb is equal to rmb is equal to it is 294.3 into cos 20 cos 20 so it will get 276.55 newton 276.55 Five five newton. Okay, so now it is R N B value. Okay, R N B value. So now apply second equilibrium equation. That is summation F X is equal to zero. Now apply second equilibrium equation. Summation of F X is equal to zero. Summation of F X is equal to zero. Summation of F X is equal to zero. So for that assumption, if the force it is right side the direction of force it is right side it will be positive the direction of force it is right side it will be positive the direction of force it is left side it will be negative direction of force it is left side it will be negative it will be negative okay then 294.3 sin 20 it is going left side so it will be minus 294.3 sine 20 it is left side then 0.3 rnb it is going also left side so minus 0.3 rnb then t it is going right side so it is t plus t plus t is equal to it is zero so from this relation t is equal to write down t is equal to divide with 294.3 sine 20 then plus 0.3 into rnb it is 276.276.55 276 okay so from this relation it will get t value it will get t value so i will write down t is equal to write down t is equal to t is equal to so 294.3 into sine 20 then plus 0.3 into 276.55 it will get 183.62 183.62 newton 183.62 newton so this one it is your t value okay so now apply now draw the free body diagram of block a now consider block a okay now consider now consider block a Now consider right on consider 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 block A. Consider block. Draw the free body diagram of block A. Yeah, this one it is block A. So it is in it is rested on inclined surface, block A. It is rested on inclined surface. So draw the x-axis it is parallel to inclined surface and y-axis it is perpendicular to this inclined surface okay so weight of block it is acted in downward direction okay so this angle it is 20 degree again 20 degree so this is 20 degree so weight of block it is acted it is in downward direction 
total it is 50 kg okay so this angle it is also 20 degree yes this angle it is 20 degree 20 degree okay so weight of block it is 30 kg just i will show this angle it is 20 degree so this angle it is 20 degree 20 degree okay so weight of block it is 50 kg 50 into 9.81 50 into 9.81 is equal to 50 into 9.81 so it will be 490.5 490.5 newton 490.5 newton okay so this block it is rested on inclined surface okay so this one it is rested on inclined surface just remove this surface and draw the normal reaction okay draw the normal reaction that is just draw here normal reaction that is this one it is rna this normal reaction it is rna okay so this normal reaction it is rna then next one it is so this impending motion it is towards the downward okay so this one it is p force because of this p force okay this one it is p force acted in downward direction p force and this wire load it is t force okay so this wire force it is t force t force okay then if impending motion it is downward direction and friction force it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion so this one it is friction force it is acted so friction force it is fr is equal to write down fr is equal to fr is equal to it is coefficient of friction it is 0.3 into rna rna okay rna so this one it is friction force okay then is there anything remaining t force okay so 490.5 resolve it is in two direction okay so i will resolve this one it is in two direction one it is x axis second one it is y axis okay. so angle with respect to her y axis so that's for y axis it will be 490.5 cos 20 okay on y axis on x axis it will be 490.5 Nine point five sine twenty sine twenty sine twenty four ninety point five sine twenty four ninety point sine twenty. So this one it is this force, okay four ninety point five sine twenty. Now apply the condition of equilibrium for apply condition of equilibrium for now write down apply apply condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium for for block a for block a okay so first of all apply summation f y is equal to zero summation f y is equal to zero summation f y is equal to zero so for that assumption if the force direction it is upward it will be take positive the direction of force it is upward it will be positive it will be positive the direction of force it is downward it will be negative direction of force it is downward it will be negative it will be negative. So first, we have 490.5 cos 20 it is going downward direction. So minus 490.5 cos 20 it is going downward direction. RNA it is going upward direction. So plus RNA, RNA. So these two forces acted in vertical direction. Okay. One it is 490.5 cos 20 and second one it is RNA is equal to zero. So on this relation, it will be RNA is equal to 
R N A is equal to 490.5 into cos 20. It will be 460.919 Newton. 460.919 Newton. Okay, this one it is R N A value. Okay, you get R N A value. Okay, so now apply second equilibrium equation that is summation F X is equal to zero. I will write here. Summation F X is equal to zero. It is this one part. Summation f x is equal to zero. Summation of f x is equal to zero. Summation of f x is equal to zero. So for that assumption, if the force it is right side, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is right side. It will be positive. It will be positive. The direction of force it left side it will be negative. Direction of force negative. Okay. So 490.5 sine 20 is going left side. So minus minus 490.5 sine 20 is going left side. Then P it is also going left side. So minus T. Then T it is going right side. So plus T plus T. Then, then friction force it is going right side. Okay. So plus plus point three R N A R N A is equal to the zero. Is equal to the zero. Is equal to zero. So from this relation, P is equal to the get P is equal to four ninety point five. Take right side all this value. Sorry, P is take right side. So all negative it will be positive, positive it will be negative. 490.5 sine 20. It will be minus. Sorry. So just calculate this one. P is, P it will be take right side. So minus P it will get positive here. Then minus. 490.5 sine 20 then t it will be t value we are calculated it is 183.6262 then 0.3 rna plus 0.3 rna 0.3 into rna to calculated rna it is 460.919 from this relation of P well. P well. Okay. P well. Write down P is equal to till get minus 490.5 into sine 20, then plus 183.62, then plus 0.3 into 0.3 into 460.919. So it will be 154.134. 154.134. Okay. This one it is P4. Okay. Here, question was so this one it is P value. Question was find the force P required to move the system. So P force it is required. 154.134 newton okay this is the final solution